the wacky world of Multimedia J. Much later than I wanted to hit the road, but it's not Senior Citizen Tuesday, and it's not quite lunchtime yet, so hopefully I will have at least a little bit of traffic, but not much. Let's go find this place. I have more trips planned for later in the week as well. They'll probably be earlier in the morning, though. Once I know where this place is, though, then it shouldn't be a problem hitting out there when there's barely any daylight. This was as full as I managed to get the tote. The Foreman grill, ratty old piece of junk with the Teflon flaking off on the grill plates, capped off part two of the great sift last night part three involves untangling stuff from the spaghetti mess so that'll take a little while i want to get rid of this stuff anyways i made the right call by cutting things off and doing a part three though this thing is heavy and for those wondering why i have an easy chair right by the door well you're looking at it most of the time you come in you make multiple trips inside the house just drop it off on the chair and then just pick it up afterwards once you're in and the door is closed it's also a nice comfy place to put your shoes on. If you want to take your shoes off and whatnot, or put them on the shoe rack and then pick them up afterwards, something like that. Helps keep the uh, place clean a little bit more anyways. But what'll make this place even cleaner is getting rid of this clutter. So let's dump this crap. And just like that, through the magic of film, <laughs> aka me shutting off the camera and getting the trip done, it's empty again. We're just going to get through the rest of that spaghetti tonight and box up some of the other stuff to finish the decluttering for tomorrow. Or put boxes inside of boxes, put them all back inside of this box until I get around to finishing this thing up. Either way, this chair box has proven to be very, very useful in keeping things organized and not quite so cluttered. Although it'd be nice to uh, not have the place look like uh, part of a warehouse with all the cardboard going every which way. So that's all that's left. For now, though, I'm going to do an intermission and interlude of sorts and talk about this Lasco box fan that I just picked up from the local Walmart. Now, I've heard the libertarian commentators on the radio talking about how government can't do anything right, but the public sector workers that I've dealt with today have given me far better service and far better attitudes than their private sector counterparts at Walmart, let me tell you. I went to the DPW garage, it was a bit hard to find because it's out in the woods at the end of town for some strange reason, but I eventually found it out there in farm country. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm pretty uh, accustomed to driving through the woods and being out where there's nothing around for miles, so it's nothing I haven't seen before. But I found the place, friendly bunch there, they were working on the town trucks and uh, the recycling the recycling program consists entirely of dumping the tote, or it consisted entirely of dumping the tote into a recycling gaylord in a storage trailer they have over by the, the town's sand piles for the winter. <laughs> eh, yeah, yeah. Well, at least they offer the service. I've certainly got stuff we can dump in the tote. Might make at least one more trip later this week. On the way back, though, I went to stop at Walmart to pick up a real window, a real box fan for the windows. Now, Walmart over the years, and that's what this is. This is a Lasco Weather Shield Select with a thermostat box fan. This is this year's model of those Lasco Weather Shields you see Walmart selling for like $20 each. These are the ones to look for because Walmart also peppers their shelves with cheap, cheap knockoff non-Weather Shield, ver well, same brand, but lesser SKUs, I should say, for less than $20. This year, the gimmick was you can buy your box fans in all kinds of pretty colors. <sighs> the Walmart, um, the Walmart around here has really bad management compared to the super centers, but I don't feel like making a road trip just for box fans, so I may do. And this definitely fit the, well, description. So there's the box looking like it had been tenderized in the uh, warehouse. Here's a, uh, yay, made in the USA. Okay, hopefully this lasts a couple of years without blowing up. A lot of the box fans tend to blow up after three years. Anywho, I traditionally pop these in windows, which is what I intend on doing with this one, but this one's fancy enough to have a thermostat. Yeah! Listen to that wind noise! 
Let's get out of the line of fire here. Thermostat. The thing is, it was all. What's this? A light comes on when it's too when it's cool. Okay. So there's a power light that turns on when the thermostat trips to let you know that it's getting power, but it's waiting for the temperature to heat back up again. So that's kind of cool. Definitely got some. Uh, definitely got some uh, serious some serious CFMs, kind of comparable to some of the patent fans I've used before, except it's a cheap chunk of plastic. This cheap chunk of plastic, though, at least is painted black, so if it starts to yellow in the in the uh, coming years, it'll turn, like, ugly black instead of going from, like, pewter, pewter, <laughs> instead of going from white to, or putty, or whatever it's called, to horrible off yellow, like some devices I know. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the only one that was in the store, and I had to go searching for it. What's up with this? They got a new store manager in the place who obviously is just as useless as the last one. This is this was the way Walmart had an edge over its competition because the SKU was Walmart only for these ones that are that are twenty dollars. You, you pay at least thirty at like Lowe's, Home Depot, even Target. Uh, Walmart had something going with these where they could edge everybody out in terms of price. Apparently, that's over. I don't know. They just want to sell the the cheaper, horrible versions of these for, like, $15 or $18 in pretty colors. So, you know, your kid can have, like, a cherry red fan in their window, whatever. Actually, I think it's a merchant. Let's, check, let's put this back on low mode. Might as well enjoy the fruits of our <laughs> searching. Like, Indiana Jones through the Walmart to get a darn box fan. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, um, wind noise. That might be a problem. This, uh, okay, never mind. It was worth a shot. Let's use the thermostat to shut it off. <laughs> One thing Walmart had plenty of, though, pallets of cheap air conditioners. They had a center aisle for air conditioners. Problem is, air conditioners cost more than these do. This is something, you know, you know, poor people might pick one up to throw in a window and maybe buy a second-hand air conditioner to run into the ground if the coolant still works. I, I really don't think... Uh, they shouldn't have allocated so much shelf space to... I mean, I'm, the air conditioner that I have is a 10-year-old GE from 2005 that still works for some reason, hasn't needed its coolant recharged for some... We, I don't know. But anyways, the thing is, air conditioners are something that the demo, Walmart tends to target folks that want to be thrifty and save money. People that are, that are strapped for cash are not going to be buying new air conditioners every single summer. <laughs> Just, I think they'd go if if the if the Walmart air conditioners were so terrible that they died after a year, they'd probably hit the secondhand market from appliance depots and scratch and dents before they'd go buy new air conditioners every year. It's just <sighs> some merchandiser fell asleep at the wheel. They could they could have more of these available and sell more of these at a lower cost to get the volume for the sales that everyday low prices is usually for. If they, but instead, this was the only one in the store, and I had to go digging for it. Uh, I'm gonna have to go on the website and check the inventory and other super centers around here in order to find more of these things. Seriously! Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> they didn't screw one of the screws in completely. Yeah, watch out, kids. Watch your finger. Oh, they screwed it in. It's crooked. Did they strip the screw too? Yeah, yeah somebody was in too much of a rush when they were building these things. Now look at this, half of these screws have to be tightened. Nothing like buying something first-hand and having it be like a fixer-upper second-hand project. Nope, I seem to have been mistaken. This is actually a shortcoming of the design of having a screw here and a screw here, because, you know, putting a screw here in the actual corner is too much to ask for whoever thought this was... What a disaster. The other side does it too, right? What, what was so wrong with putting screws in the corners? One... Two, three, four. Instead, they tried to be clever and they did one, two, three, four, five, six. Half of them look like they're not even in all the way. Uh, that's what it takes to sell a fan for $20 at Walmart these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should call I should call my dad. Hey, you still got those box fans from the move that you were gonna sell at a yard sale? I want them back. <laughs> I'll blow those suckers up myself then throw them in the cellar until I want to make another recycling kit or whatever. By the way, um, don't be fooled by the marketing. See how on the back there's, you can go right in here, Lasco Weather Shield? There's the motor right there. You still don't want to be using these in the, whoa, there's the wiring too. So the old ones actually would have a, a plate over this. 
So even in terms of Lasco weather shield, there is still direct for rain flying inwards. It's still possible for it to blow up the motor, so to speak, by shorting something out. So uh, <laughs> maybe I should mod this, put something over here. Uh, put something over this to make it like the Lasco fans of yesteryear. This is just... <sighs> Walmart sucks, okay? Uh, we'll use this and until it blows up like all the other ones and then find something better. better knock it off. People are gonna think I'm ripping off B. Bishop PCM doing fan reviews. Except this isn't an antique, it just came out this year. I think. Okay, well, that's enough of that. You wonder why brick and mortar dinosaurs lose sales to the internet? Here you go. Look at what the uniquely gifted merchandising coordinators are putting in the brick and mortar stores these days. It's almost like they want the brick and mortars to fail. Okay, time to put this thing in the window, have it cycle the air out of this, pop the attic door, cycle in some nice air from outside, which is nice and not so humid today, and then get back to the great sift. <sighs> this is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by.